because there is something, the living spirit, a, a force that governs the universe. Something is putting these planets to turn around themselves and not to collide with each other. For example, in our own um, planetary system is all the planets around the earth, they're all turning around themselves and they turn around the planet of the sun. And so, and none of them run into each other. So there is an intelligence here at work that takes care of things, is running the show. It's not happening by accident. Or your body, if you look at your body, how from the time you eat food and how it gets digested to the time goes through the process of elimination, so many different elements and chemicals are being produced and different things happening in the body to digest food. And it's, you're, you're not on top of it. You're not thinking about, okay, now it's time for my pancreas to produce some digestive enzymes, or now it's time for my stomach to produce some hydrochloric acid. Um, or you don't think about your heart is beating, let's say, I don't know, 500 times or a thousand times per minute. And now I'm going to increase my heartbeat to 1500 times or drop it down to 300 times. You don't think about that. All of these things are happening automatically without us being involved with them. As well as if you pay attention that like clockwork, the winter turns into spring, spring turns into summer, and summer to autumn. And you can see like as the winter is shifting, going to spring, the tree starts to bloom, flower starts to come out, you hear the birds singing, the nature is opening up automatically. And also in fall, as we're going to, towards winter, everything is closing down and goes into hibernation. This is not in my power, and I'm not controlling it, neither are you. Some intelligence is at, at work here. Something is doing this. So noticing that there is an intelligence that's running the show, governing the life and the universe, so once you shift your understanding and you start looking at it like, okay, well, there is this intelligence managing things. So, and it knows what it's doing, obviously, because it's been doing it for millions of millions of, or for eternity. And before I was born, some force is running the show. And after I leave my body and I move on to the next stage, the show goes on. It keeps life continues doing its thing. So I don't need to worry about that. So I can trust and accept it. I can accept, go into the surrender and accepting of what is, accepting of life is fully capable of supporting itself and doing its own thing. Obviously, because it's been doing it. There's a track record that it's been doing that. So it's even if logically you think about it and you see, okay, life has been supporting itself and bringing, producing millions and millions, trillions of human beings and taking them out of the scene, bringing them in and taking them away. So obviously it knows what it's doing and it's got its own reasons. And I trust that. I can stay in this state of trust. So then you start to develop and pay more attention and your trust of life gets stronger. 
And in that, <clears throat> when life doesn't give you something you want, or things don't go in your way, you have developed the trust, trusting life, then you can accept it. Acceptance comes and it gets much easier. That you're accepting in the moment, in this moment, if something doesn't go my way, I'm accepting it. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna try to make things work and I'm not gonna try to get things going my way. You can do that, but you try once, twice, three times or four times and things, something is not happening, then you're surrendering and you're accepting to what is. And you're not fighting it anymore and you're not sitting down and crying and beating yourself up and, and making yourself a victim or pointing out at life that right, life is cruel and life is not giving you what you want or things are not going your way and life sucks and blah, 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 and going into this all negative and dark process in your, your own mind, you're not doing that. You're simply looking at things from this other perspective of when something doesn't really go my way, then it's the will of life. It's the will of existence. And there must be a wisdom in it that this thing didn't go my way. I didn't get what I want. There must be a wisdom in it. And in that you surrender. And then it, and what happens is if something really goes your way and you get what you want, obviously you're very happy. And then when something doesn't go your way and you don't get what you want, you have this indifferent attitude that even though you tried very hard to make it happen and it didn't happen, but you're like, okay, I accept it. It didn't go the way I wanted to go even though I was very much invested into whatever I wanted to get, but things didn't go my way. So I'm surrendered. Now there is no room for the mind to, to suffer. Suffering becomes impossible. because you cannot be disappointed. There might be a moment of disappointment that rises. That's okay. Oh, oh, it didn't happen. Oh, I'm, I'm so sad or whatever. Yeah, momentarily you can react to it, but not that reaction or whatever that you felt happens in that moment. You reacted, it happened, it bursted out, and then it's in the past and it's gone by the end of the day you're not really involved with it anymore you're not thinking about it or in a in a couple of days you're not involved in it anymore